Hey, I'm Tatiana. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be cleaning behind the oven. Uh, I'm kind of nervous to go behind there. I mean, I cook a lot and a lot falls in between there. And I just think that magically the dirt's going to go away somehow. But there's probably bugs eating up all of that food back there. So <laughs> I'm kind of nervous, but I'm going to put my gloves on and pull out the oven so this is a gas oven i'm also worried about gas leaks i have been looking up quite a bit online to make sure that i, I am doing this properly so just bear with me while i go through this process let's get started okay so i'm going to lift up from here and lift up and then pull out but i heard that there's like a hook behind there so that's what I'm trying to avoid. There we go. So it's coming out. Now I'm just going to wiggle it out. Okay, now I'm going to check behind there to make sure that the gas valve isn't detaching too far. So let's take a look behind there. Okay, so you can see the gas valve there. There's quite a bit. Okay, so you can see the gas valve still has a lot more to go for me to pull out, so I'm gonna keep pulling it out. Okay, so that's as far as I'm gonna pull it out because I don't wanna stretch this valve right here. So, and as you can see, lots and lots of dirt and garbage back here. So I'm going to first sweep as much as I can. Okay, here's a bowl of water. I'm just gonna add a little bit of dish soap and mix it around with my finger and I'm gonna put it in the microwave so it'll heat up. All of that grease and grime is going to melt off with the hot water. Okay, it's been in there for two minutes. Oh, this is pretty hot. I'm gonna use a magic eraser and just put it in the hot water and squeeze it out. It's pretty hot, so it kind of hurts my hand. So the hot water with the magic eraser, I'm gonna put it on this. Now, take, take a look at this, this dirt here. Okay, I'm gonna start from this side and just scrub my way over it. If it's too hot, you can just use the, the rag behind it and do that and try and remove all that gunk. Okay, here's the hot water. I'm gonna dip it onto my rag and I'm gonna start by cleaning this area first because I always start from the top and then work my way down. And then I can use the other side of the rag, which is kind of dry and just dry it like that and start cleaning the wall down. and clean this gas valve just really lightly just to make sure that I'm not 
disconnecting anything. You see how dirty that is? Right here. Okay, you can also use the magic eraser. This countertop quartz, it cleans pretty well with this magic eraser. It does take a little bit of elbow grease. Now that I've cleaned all the sides, I'm gonna clean the back of the oven right here. I'll clean the back of the oven. Okay, I'm gonna pull this back just a little bit so I have more room to clean back there. Okay. Okay, okay this is my rag. I'm going to get a new rag because this one's too dirty. Here's my new rag. I'm gonna put it in my hot soapy water and this is the last cleaning here I'm going to do on the floor here. Just trying to be really careful about this gas valve here not to hit it too much and also I'm going to just make sure that it doesn't smell like eggs or anything because that means that there has been a leak. Just do a once over. Looks like this part didn't come out too well, so I'm gonna use the magic eraser and just remove that fatty stuff that has gunked up in here. A little warm water really helps it. So now I can use the other side of the rag here to remove any of that. Okay, another part that could be cleaned is like right in between here. I'm gonna try and use this too, a straw cleaner. And I can also get in there with this tool. So I'm gonna try and use my rag, I can just use the part to get in there. I'm gonna slip it through like that. Yeah, it looks pretty clean in there now. Okay, my two-year-old is woken up, so he might cry in the background. This side now, I'm going over it with the, the magic eraser. Then I'm gonna try and get in here with that. Okay, here's the tool. And that pretty much just breaks up all the dirt from there. And then I can put the rag end in here just to wipe it all out like that. Okay, now I'm gonna push it back in. the stove this is a gas stove you probably could do with electric stove it might be easier because you wouldn't have to worry about the gas valve but I would suggest doing it about once a year anyway I hope this helps and if you liked it give it a thumbs up you can also subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell too to be notified of the very next video thanks and we'll see you in the next one Bye.